The city of Detroit is looking to regulate short term rentals through sites like Airbnb. Council member Janae Ayers is sponsoring the ordinance that's still in the works. Now a group of rental owners are taking a stand. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has a look at what the ordinance could do. I'm in the area of Trumbull and Bagley in the heart of Corktown. It's an area that's very popular, so a lot of people have started offering Airbnbs. For people who live in this neighborhood, it's a hard situation. On the one hand, they want to respect their neighbor's property rights. On the other hand, sometimes when people are renting houses for a vacation, there's a bit too much partying. If you want to stay in Detroit in a short term rental or an Airbnb, there's no shortage of options. It's great for visitors, but for neighbors, it can be tough. It's harder to know who your neighbors are, and so you lose the quality and charm that makes Corktown great. Blake Olmsted says he's lived in Corktown for more than a decade. He knows of numerous short term rentals in the block around him. He says some owners have strict rules that keep problems to a minimum. In other cases, at times, police have responded to partying in the middle of the week. Tuesday night might be fun going to the bars, but sometimes it might be a little surprising that, you know, people also live and work here as well. As Detroit City Council works on an ordinance to regulate short term rentals, we asked what the ordinance might do. Just making sure there's a registration process, uh, also making sure that we limit the amount of guests that can be uh, in these facilities as well, too, uh, and, and just providing more regulations. A group of Airbnb owners has started what they call the Share Detroit Fund. They started a GoFundMe account to raise money to lobby against any regulations. We spoke to one woman who owns the eclectic house on Bagley Street in Corktown. She told us on the phone she lives in the neighborhood and makes sure renters are respectful. She says she believes it's her right as a property owner to rent it out. I think that before they start to do all these regulations, they really need to go out and talk to the people that are hosts that are doing this to better the city and bring people into the city. The owner of this Airbnb says that she uses the money she makes on Airbnb to improve the property and thereby the neighborhood. She says that's something the city needs to keep in mind. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Thank you, Kim, and that does it for us. Action News at 6 is up next.